Well, this is what we woke up to. I've already cleaned the vehicles off. <laughs> Probably got 20, still snowing. Probably got 20 centimeters. I already wiped off the big red back there. Over here, I've wiped that off already. We are in here in New Brunswick. It's mild, it's like minus one. Yesterday, all up and through there, right to the barn, like oh, this whole driveway right up there was all mud. I literally had to get the tractor with the bucket and kind of swipe it, push it down because it was so muddy. We, uh, yeah, we couldn't even walk back there. And then all of a sudden, boom, we got a cold front. Got, uh, I don't know, 20 so far, maybe? 15 centimeters, probably supposed to snow right till midnight. But uh, Newfoundland is supposed to get like 50 to 70. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we were running maple syrup. Got, uh, I don't know, maybe two mason jars full or something like that. And uh, it's really good, actually. Um, and then, boom, this hit. And the sap was running like crazy, so... Uh, lots going on here at the homestead lately. It's been a while since I videoed and uh, been away doing some uh, stuff uh, with uh, my company and uh, getting ready for fishing and yeah, things have been going well. It's just uh, been busy. We got the barn all set up. We got some chickens in there now. Probably got about 25 laying heads thanks to my uh, friends uh, up in Hartcourt, uh, Mo and Shelby. Thanks. For the chickens, appreciate it. We got some babies and we got a couple that are laying and we got kind of a mixture, so it's kind of cool. Still haven't got hydro there, but uh, you can see I put right up at the top of the barn there. I don't know if you can see that right. Where am I? Right there. A little solar panel. Got a battery in there. It seems to be keeping everything charged. I got some lights running in there and stuff, so. Um, I actually ran a long extension cord yesterday or the day before from the barn all the way to the house here behind us and I buried it. So it's a good thing I buried it because uh, you're just about to plow the driveway and I didn't know where that was. Well, I'd be running over it. So we got some lights, we got some heated water, we got things going. I was so anxious to get the boat going. I've ordered some stuff for it, uh, just got a new troll motor and um ordered some other stuff for the boat <laughs> so i think it's gonna be a while i just look at the long range and we're talking another probably what today's uh, thursday so saturday's another 15 sunday's probably another 15 centimeters so it's supposed to drop down a little bit in temperature again but uh we're gonna plow the driveway um here in a minute just let the tractor warm up went for a little ride back uh with my friend and next door neighbor kevin last weekend on the quads and it was kind of icy things were melting and it was kind of cool about uh maybe 20k from here there's uh raspberry fields um everywhere and uh, it's kind of it's really really cool so uh you know have a look at that while i'm plowing the driveway and uh we'll get back to you mishi's loving the snow we'll see you in a few have a look at this video it's kind of cool Out moose hunt sheddings. Let me see that. We're out shed, hunt moose sheds. We have traveled, I don't know, maybe 20k just searching around. Uh, my neighbor Kevin right there. He knows this area like the back of his hand. So we're kind of looking for moose sheds all over the place. We had a big meltdown uh, yesterday and the day before. It got up to like plus nine. And the trails kind of froze right up. And uh, went through some kind of sketchy spots for me, but nothing for him, for Kevin. Um, we're just traveling around. We went through a beautiful blueberry field. Like, I mean, miles of blueberries. Uh, so that would probably be amazing to see there in the spring there and loose in the fall, Kevin says. So 
we're going to travel a bit further and see what we see. It is cold. It's probably minus 20, minus 19 anyway. Uh, it went from plus 9 to minus, to minus 20. So, got to love it. Just hunting around for sheds right here on James Outdoors. Yes, sir. Thought, uh, went down the road a little bit further. There's lots of moose around. You can see another rub right here. Look at this. That's that's pretty fresh right there. Well, fresh when they had horns, so probably last fall. We're in uh, first of March today, actually. Um, so rubbing horns here just driving around all through the backwoods definitely I would get lost here <laughs> if it wasn't for that guy right there <laughs> that's Kevin right there so you can see trails and trails and trails and trails and miles and miles and bush and trails I have no clue where we are apparently I don't know <laughs> it's going to take me 150 years to learn all the trails in here. Can't see it happening, but uh, it's going to be fun trying. That's for sure. We're definitely a moose country now. There is, we just drove down the road a bit further, and you can see right there, the moose has had fun with that tree, scraping its horns around, up and down, so we're going to take this trail, Kevin's coming back now. Not really a trail, just uh, snow. We'll see what we can find. Just keep moving, looking around for moose sheds. A lot of fun, but you can tell they like rubbing against uh, the trees there. Got the driveway done. Ah, uh, that was a good trip. Uh, we didn't find any moose sheds, but, uh, you know, we will another time. That uh, blueberry field, I don't know what I called it earlier, but it, it's uh, miles and miles of blueberries. I imagine there'll be a ton of bear there in the springtime eating the blueberries. We'll see if we can get some of those on video. Apparently, uh, the moose congregate there in the fall. Uh, we'll see if we can get some video there then. But uh, all in all, it was a fun trip, and uh, all in all, this is fun too, right here. More snow. More coming. We're in March, middle of March, uh, and we're going to get a lot more snow, I think. But it's fun. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I really appreciate it. If you want to hit the subscribe button, that would be pretty cool. Uh, we will uh, be doing more videos soon. Uh, hopefully, as soon as the snow goes away, we'll be doing lots of uh, fishing videos uh, uh, for stripers on the Miramichi and wherever I can find fish in New Brunswick, we'll bring you that too. Once again, thanks for watching, folks. Take care of each other. Stay healthy. It's all you got in life. We'll see you again.